Sinners shall bleed. I'm trying to have these two fight each other if I can. Sinners oh, shall bleed. A new arrival. Welcome to arrival. Hello. I can take them all. Go. Said the Lord. There we go. All right, tap quick save. Got some people that took some damage, but no permanent injuries. Uh, some reward. Oh, relic. Nice. Oh, can I actually use the campfire now? Oh my goodness, yes. Time to get up, knights. Sir Mordred, oh. this is the second time you have saved my life. Maybe Avalon did change you. We had a mutual interest, that's all. We have more in common than we thought. I am sure that neither of us would give up now. I know how to kill the Monster King, and I'm ready to assist you. I keep hearing that. We need something powerful enough to break the magic of the Grail. Something stronger than Arthur. Something that can focus the power of the Lady of the Lake into a single blow. The Excalibur! The Excalibur was there. In the heart of Avalon, when the Enchantresses gathered to revive Arthur. When the nightmare began. Every Enchantress died there, and yet you live. I am not the Lady's servant, but her champion. Still, I couldn't defeat the Knight of Midnight who was born there. But I was able to leave and fight another day. Yes, I know what happened during the ritual. No, you don't. The lady realized too late that something was wrong, and something unexpected was happening to Arthur. But by then, she knew she couldn't win there. What does this have to do with Excalibur? Before the final clash, the lady ordered me to return to my castle and hide the Excalibur. Hide it from my Arthur. I felt ashamed, but that was my part of the battle. Give me the sword and I will kill the Fisher King. The sword is broken. Useless. I don't even know where it is now. I would have been the first to suffer torment at the hands of the Fisher King. I asked Sir Percival to hide it somewhere safe. The High and Mighty Grail Knight? Where is he now? He was the guardian of the Holy Grail at Castle Corbinick. When the Fisher King took the castle, Sir Percival was exiled. No one knows where he is now. Well, then go and find him, and let me know when you do. Uh, I love how every game that has Excalibur has it as an OP weapon. Oh, of course. I mean, it's Excalibur. <laughs> Even before video games, it was a weapon of legend. It has to be the OP weapon. There are unclaimed treasure chests on the map. Are you sure you want to finish? Um, but the, are they all behind really big fights, though? Hold on, quick save, just in case uh, this is... Yeah, this is going to be a bunch of lost, right? <laughs> oh, imagine. Ready. Kneel before your king. I am ready. Shall bleed. This is my Your 
Highness. Piercing shot. I serve the Lord. For the Lord Almighty. If we get through this without taking any like permanent damage, then it'll be worth. It is mine. Ready. Is the Fisher King the main villain? So, um, okay. So the beginning, of the, there was an insanely good cinematic at the beginning of the game. But what it is, is it's like, you know, you know, King Arthur and Camelot and Mordred and his uprising, they fought each other. There was freaking monsters involved. There was knights, there was wizards and witches. The armies basically destroyed each other. King Arthur and Mordred impaled each other on their weapons. They killed each other. And, you know, that, that was the thing. And then some dark, force brought started bringing them back to life it's like necromancy is happening across the land now when king uh, arthur came back uh he started to become like a, a monster or something and the lady of the lake was like this is messed up and tried to stop it and her interference made him split and like fragments of his soul and body and flesh he became basically four monsters uh the first one i've already beaten and it was like his body and the the Fisher King has like the second fragment of King Arthur, but but, but uh, Mordred, who you know in the original story was the bad guy, is the uh, is considered to be the only one capable enough to uh, stop Arthur because he took him down in life. But you know Arthur is just the worst evil. Now. It's basically like the U.S. Uh, politics. It's like when we're voting for the president. Like it, it's they're not trying to find the better candidate. They're just trying to find the less bad the less bad one. That's what's going on right now. Mordred's just the less bad thing, the, 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 the more known of two evils. Ah, uh, that is not enough. Okay, no perma damage taken. Is it worth dying for? <laughs> we, we found, like, rolls. And eight gold. All right, tap and quick save. That is a fight and a campfire. Look, a campfire. By oh, God. <laughs> I thought it was like four dudes. It's like nine. No mercy for the wicked. I can take them all. Run words. Sinners shall bleed. No mercy. Is there any other it. archers here? Yes. Oh, he doesn't have enough AP. All right, just ready in action then. Dang it, I wanted to put this guy back in stealth at the end of his turn. If I charge there, he'll end on the bad square. Oh wait, maybe I can. I oh, know it's too late. Try 
trying to change the way he's facing. This is not good. This guy might backstab him. Ready. Ah. No mercy for the wicked. Ready to fight. I think he can take the one hit. Not wild about it though. All right, he'll die from dots Lord next turn. Oh wow, lucky dodge dodge on that guy. No mercy for the wicked. Awaiting your command. Piercing shot. Alright, he'll die from dots. What? Uh he'll die from poison. Throw a knife at that dude. Suffer for your sins. Well, it could have been worse. Uh Mordred took a tiny bit of damage. We can we can leave that, I guess. We can leave that, I guess. Get some HP back. Ready to serve the Lord. This looks like an ambush. Oh, there it is right there. So there is a treasure chest, though. All right, quick save in case this goes south. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Blessings. All right, gas trap. I can do two movement and still fire. Ah, it's not really going to be much better. That ble the bleeding from piercing shot only does one damage. I need to see if I can get that increased. That's not great. The Lord is my witness. Start going in and out of stealth. The Lord is my witness. Kneel before your king. As I we're we're doing okay. Uh, considering this is, uh, you know, the first mission we're doing where we don't have Ector, like we don't have the wizard. So I'm, I'm kind of glad in the general sense of how it's been going. What are we waiting for? Not going to be able to throw a knife this turn. Mordred go first. Mordred gets back two uh, hit points every time he does a swing. So I want him to get as much health back as possible before ending the battle. Oh. 
We have all sinned. Let's have a look. Sigil for medium armor. More things to plunder. That and we can get some armor back. More dread, less dread. That's stupid. <laughs> All right, there's one more set of treasure chests on this map. It's right here, dude. We spent so much effort sneaking around these guys, and now we're just like treasure, ah, just like killing them all. Hmm. All right. What? I can take them all. There's that. I am ready. Take them. He'll die from burning in two turns. I serve the law. Okay, so two archers dead, one will die from dots. Trips! I heard you like him. Get off my archer! No mercy for the wicked. Is there any more there is an archer there, but there's a thing in the way. Okay. More dots. Make up your mind. More doors. More doors. Heard you like doors. <laughs> that one's a backstab, I think. Yeah. Ready to fight. Oh, the thickest piercing shot. Oh God, that's not good. Ready to fight. Make up your mind. Your Highness. I serve the Lord. I am here to serve. That's not good. I really don't like that because she, she, they, they can reach her so easily right now. Yep, yeah, she takes another hit and she just got injured. Uh, yeah, I could keep playing this out, but this is optional. Ah, oh, man, do I finish the mission or do I try to get that last treasure chest again? I'll try it one more time. Of course, I could start the battle from that other area. If I could, I don't know, if I cut through this building, it's going to trigger the lost again. Or maybe over there? No, 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 don't path that way. Assuming I haven't already triggered Lost in there. I don't know if I have or not. I'm glad this game has like the, the pathing thing where like you click on a square and your guys will find their way there because sometimes I'm like, I, I, I'm just like, I did not see that that was an opening. All right. Let's try it from this side. Let's see if we can do a no hit. Sinners shall bleed. <sighs> I wish she had one more action point each turn. Because if the way it is right now, if she um, if she fires twice, she can't move.
Yeah, they're, they're going right for her. Like, ooh, pretty lady. Make up your mind. Time I could charge, knock weapons. that guy down, but oh, do, wait! Oh, she can't even back up. It's it's there's an invisible wall. Oh, that's so unfair. There's an invisible wall behind me. It's like yeah, this is the edge of the arena. You're not allowed past this point. None can stand in my way. All right. No mercy for the wicked. Blessings. No mercy for the wicked. They're all iron. -er. I'm either cosplaying Yago and Wanko, hello nurse. Oh my gosh. Awaiting your command. Ancient references. If I shoot through Mordred, I can hit three of them and take out the back archer. Uh. Let's not. Why have you forsaken me, Law? I hate this invisible wall. There's no need for that here. Like, it, it, it's such an unnecessary complication. Like, why can't I back up a foot? I serve the Lord. Your Highness? No mercy for the wicked. Ah! Uh, no mercy for the wicked. You ran out of footy buttons, I guess. Okay, he's at 13 hit points. He'll take nine. Okay, no, he will. He needs another hit. On the cross. I hate that that arbalist can hit her, but she can't hit it back. Let's use her potion. Whatever's in this chest better be, better be worth more than a potion. None can stand in my way. Oh. Oh my lord, Mordred is getting an absolute beatdown. Prepare to die. <laughs> Power and glory. Oh. Those were backs. I thought those were back subs. I am ready. I serve the Lord. She has line of sight of nothing right now. All right, he'll die from dots. Jeez! Uh, <laughs> it's not worth. It's not worth. So basically, now Mordred would have to spend days in the cathedral and then the hospice before I could use him again. Madness, tons of day. Yeah, I could win the fight. I just I, I don't know if I can do it without getting like mortally injured or having someone die. Really though, I could have done it pretty well there if not for that invisible wall at my back. Have I cleared out the lost from this building to my right? If I have, maybe I could enter the fight from the right. That, that invisible wall that spawned behind me was basically the death of me. Wait, what is this? Be careful. It is dangerous to enter the ruins. Why is it dangerous? The lost ones are here. We've already killed some of them. They could be hiding inside. Thank you for your advice. Pretty sure the treasure chest in there says it's looted. I think I've killed the lost ones in this building already. I 
Fingers crossed. Is there a way to get over there? I actually don't know if I can start that fight from any other direction. Like, it says you can start it from there, but I don't see a way to get over there because I, the, I hit the edge of the map right there. All right. I'm just gonna finish it. We'll just we'll we'll lose out on the one chest. Uh, it's it's unfortunate, but I don't want to have people like in the hospital for the next week because of uh, going for that. Yeah, he took eight. Uh, level up on Mordred and Dindrain, though. That's good. Uh, hero returned. Ector returned from the hunt with nasty wounds and a severed head of a griffin, a trophy worthy of my king, as my champion said. Worthy or not, it has already started to rot, so I have to figure out quickly what to do with the bloody head. <laughs> Adds XP for Ector, and his loyalty increases by two. Okay. Alright. Uh, Sir Peleus leveled up from training. Nice. Uh, Mordred leveled up. You should know about the edge. I, I do now. Let's see... What do I want to do here? Temper some more weapon damage, less damage from Overwatch, more from vitality, accessories, and trinkets. That's that? That just 10% more? That'd just be two hit points. 10% HP from armor sigils. This gives 40, so that'd be like four more hit points. So that's kind of minor. Uh, lose one less AP from heavy armor. So I do basically get one more AP per turn with that. That would that's that's pretty good. Um, but then there's upgrades to this where you get arm bonus armor, which is really nice. All right, I think we go for armor to get more AP each turn, and then we go for the the bonuses to armor after. Okay, Dindrain. She's got two AP. So right now her fire arrows are killing it because of this 50% bonus to burning damage. Um, what is this? It decreased the AP cost of skills that do poison by one. Well, that's poison arrow. 10% um, weapon damage bonus for poison. Duration of poison increased by one turn. Wish there was a way to increase the damage of it because it's really bad. It causes 20% vulnerability for the duration of poison. All damage suffered is increased by 20%. Hmm. If we reduce the AP cost of this, then on turns where we use this shot, we'd still have an AP for movement. Let's do that. Okay. Uh, Ector. Ector leveled up. Last time we upgraded the fireball stuff, and it was really good. Um... This force bolt costs so much AP, he rarely...